Welcome in my workshop. We brought all the parts here to assemble them. So we've sanded the parts, they are nice and clean. I'll first assemble the walls with the steps in it, if you remember. So let's go. I drilled in these six millimeter holes, so you can use these simple joinery doubles to align the parts. Let's do the second one. Tolerances are spot on. So the box is completely put together. So far without all the metal parts, without the slides and the doors and the hinges and stuff. But we can finally check if it actually fits in the car. I'm super curious and super excited for it. So in here. <laughs> That's amazing. That's, oh yeah, that's actually seems like more space than it's probably necessary, I guess. I think now there's definitely enough space for every driver in here. So let's put in the slides, the drawers, the door. And the holes are already pre-drilled. I did everything right. I should be able to just screw it in place. And the hinges. Oh, that's awesome. That just fits like charm. I've never installed these hinges so easily. And it's a soft close. Perfect! It aligns so nice. Awesome. Don't have to adjust anything about the hinges. They, you can actually adjust these in all three directions. But they just fit in place. That's crazy. Never done that before. <laughs> And now I have to install the locking mechanism. That sounds better. Okay, that's not much that's missing. I think actually I have to adjust the hinges. Ha! Ah! Did you hear it? I did, yes. That's awesome. Beautiful. So the drawers are next, therefore we need these three parts and something, oh this is probably for the drop top drawer, I'm, not... I'm confused, I did it wrong, like this, perfect, yeah, like this, okay, no, now I have to turn this around again, yeah, okay, it goes in like 
this doesn't come out in the front. Yeah, this is what happens when you forget to add tolerances on one side. Well, it just works. <laughs> the screw is pretty close to this cutout here. The drawer is finished, or the wooden parts of it at least. So now we add the drawer slides to pull out this last piece you can just open it by pulling this lever and then you can slide it out completely and this we have to screw over here to the side and these holes oh shit don't fit well something went wrong here these holes can you, can you see them these holes don't align properly. They are a little bit offset. Well, the other side, I've already checked as well. The last one I have to check actually is this one. But this looks good as well. So everything is fine, but this one over here. Okay. So I will improvise this one, mount the other ones correctly and improve or check, recheck the holes or where this mistake is coming from to make sure this doesn't happen again. As everything is only screwed together, I can exchange this piece later on and make a new one that's properly fitting. This one with the locking mechanism, I can't pull out all the way. I can not detach this from the other parts as these holes are all pre-drilled that should be fine to be but there's one draw left you can check <laughs> let's see these are the parts for the top drawer I will there's the, the bottom is still missing I will cut this on my circular saw as it's just a simple rectangular piece and as I mentioned in the last video we have two different fronts for this one front pieces one high one and one low one as we have different sizes of fridges that fit in here. So we can mount the drawer a little lower and get more volume inside the drawer, but have a, a smaller fridge underneath, or we mount it two centimeters higher up and get a little smaller drawer, but more space for the fridge underneath. Let's go. I will build the bigger one so I don't need this smaller front for now. Perfect, this is tight. As you've already seen, this is a little bit too tight over here. I probably forgot the tolerant to add the tolerances here. So I reworked this a little bit with the chisel. That's quite easy and fast but i have to think of improving this later on of course therefore actually it's awesome to take this all on video so i just re-watch it and fix everything you've seen better now yeah that looks good that's okay now this one Perfect. And the last one. Nice. Unfortunately, on the CNC machine, I can only work the material from one side. And as I needed the slot for the drawer bottom from this side, 
I couldn't pre-drill the holes for the slides from the other side. So I now have to look up where this goes and think of a way to make this easier for you in the end to mount this. I'll figure something out, I guess. Another side, another slide. So, let's check out if this one roughly works so far. And slide it in. There is some friction when you slide it in first, but then. Oh, nice. Yeah, this fits perfect. This seemed to lock, that's a good thing. Actually pretty strong, strong, I need to get this a little lower, I guess. Yeah, okay. This has no soft close or pull in, you have to push the drawer properly in. But the mechanism works, you can't pull it out like this, but Maybe a little strong, but maybe there is a solution to it. As the drawer slides themselves has have a mechanism to hold them close just a little bit with these rubber feet at the end. And maybe I'll dismount these and this way. Yeah, well, this closes much easier. I was really happy about this one, but thinking already what went wrong here at the lower one and maybe Kea was right she just mentioned that maybe on this side the same error of misalignment of the holes has occurred as on this side I just didn't recognize it properly um, so I'll try to figure that out by moving the slide a little bit to the back over here and check this out and then I'll have a look or take a look later on in the cab model Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's it. We actually have the same thing that even if I unlock here, the friction is still pretty high because there is this rubber thing, but maybe for the fridge, as it's pretty heavy, it's not even too bad to leave this in place, but I want to test it once. Take it off. That's awesome, isn't it? I think it's better without it. This is an awesome outcome. I'm really happy, of course. There are some minor tweaks. I still have to make the biggest mistake so far, of course, are these holes that are misaligned for the two slides over here. But other than that, yeah, there are still some little tweaks here and there, but I'm pretty happy. It looks good, all goes together pretty well. The tolerances are perfect. Nailed this so that you can uh, properly mount the finger joints here. And I think we can go on on this basis. But of course, I'll go through it, correct all the mistakes that I've done that you've seen in this video for the next rounds and improve that. But now let's take this into the car one more time to check if it still fits properly. Also with the drawers in place. Well, we already actually finished the video, but my brother brought me his fridge. That is one of the three models that should fit in there. So we take the opportunity to put it in there to show or, and to take a look if everything works like with the plug, the cable and if you can still open the lid when you pull that out and stuff like this. But this is the one model that is a little higher than the other two. That means we need to mount the lower height uh, front for this drawer and put this drawer two centimeters higher up.
These are the old holes. There are the new ones I have to use for the upper mold. The holes are pre-marked as well, so we just put it over there and can simply screw in the screws. Now let's see if it works or if I have to adjust something. <laughs> it's always so satisfying when things just work out first try, but that's possible through CNC machining. That's just awesome. <coughs> the handles are detached and now this should fit in there a little bit. Have a look at this little gap here. This is the space efficiency I'm talking about. Over here should be enough room to properly open the fridge and it just can still even just stay open. Here is enough space for the plug. Let's put this in. These plugs are all angled and by this there should be enough space so that it doesn't collide with the other board. Perfect. Yes. Just like this, there's enough space and we'll take a look how that cable could sit in there in the car. So the idea with the hexagonal cutouts on the side is not only so that the fridge can breathe through the slots like here in the front it has on the side and on the back as well but also to be able to do some cable management and therefore the idea is that you can slide your cable through this hole and then put it into the side here oh, like this of the fridge and then in the back you can put the plug through the side as well, like this. When I now put the fridge back in its place, here's the rectangular cutout for the plug. So this isn't interfering with the side. And now you have enough cable left to put it to your original socket in the front for example or to any other socket and like this there's clean cable management in this little gap here and you have no issues with the cables just pull it out and push it back in without worrying about the cable of the fridge So I'm really really happy how this turned out. It's awesome. It fits in here perfect on first try. Of course there are a lot of minor issues that I have to tweak but these should be easy fixes I guess. Um, so I'm really stoked to do the next modules, the rest of the car and I'd be very interested in your suggestions, uh, suggestions and your thoughts about this if you have any tips or advice for me what I can improve. Probably some of you have a lot of experience in camping as well. So that would be very interesting to hear in the comments. And other than that, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.